Hey dollies, welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, I'm Dolla and welcome to the channel. So today, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me through my morning routine. This is like my ideal morning routine, you know? I just woke up and I was just like editing a video for TikTok real quick. I've been up for probably like an hour. It's like 10, 22, I think. I usually wake up in between the range of seven to nine. So today I did wake up a bit late, but it's cause we just had the spring time change. My body's all messed up from it right now. So but let's go ahead and get up and start. Good morning. Oh, big yawn, big yawn. Oh, he's a good boy. So immediately after waking up, the first thing I do before I do anything else is I make my bed. It just like gives me a good like push and like us just a productive start to the morning. thing I do is I obviously brush my teeth and then I do morning stretches and then I go to work out. Let's go brush my teeth. Now that I have brushed my teeth and put on my lipstick, or not lipstick, whatever it's called, hold my glass skin. I haven't even done my skincare and my skin is still glass. I still have glass skin from last night. That's how you know you have a good skincare routine when you have dry skin, but you wake up with glass skin. I'm gonna change into my workout clothes and stretch, and we're gonna do the morning stretches and then work out. Let's go. Okay, so I'm in my outfit now. I'll show you guys. This is the fit. I'm very pink Pilates princess. I know, but I like looking cute when I'm working out because it just keeps me more motivated for some reason. Let's start with the stretches. Okay, so now that I'm done with my stretches, it is time to go to the gym and work out. And I actually have a gym in my house, so that actually makes it very convenient to work out. <laughs> yeah, let's go get our workout in. I actually just remembered that today is my hair wash day. It's Monday, so I have to oil my hair real quick so like it can actually sit for a while like while I'm working out. So I'm gonna oil it real quick. Take one last look at the gorgeous hair before she gets super duper greasy. Start off by just oiling my hair. So I use this oil. You guys have probably seen it everywhere. Rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil. Put it down my hair. And I don't like, I don't like to use too, too much of it. So I just kind of leave it at that massage it in a little i get this shea moisture 100 pure argan oil it just looks like this i got it from amazon and it comes with like a little pumper thing so you have to kind of pump it on but i just put it do the same massage I have this fable and main smooth and shine hair oil i don't know if it's even really like a hair oiling oil but i still like to put it in because it smells good and oh my god it comes in a little dropper again very little i mostly use this after i shower like to just put on my ends highly recommend this brand in general it smells so good and it just makes your hair like super super soft for the ends of my hair japanese hair serum the texture's like that. My hair's dry, so I like to kind of overly moisturize the ends of my hair before I do a shower, is I get a bamboo brush. I just got this from Amazon. You can probably get it anywhere. I just brush out all the stuff that I put in my hair. This just to like, kind of get the product into my scalp better. I like to go in with a scalp massager. This one is from Amike. They actually sent it to me to try out. So, and I've been using it for the past few weeks. It's actually pretty good. It's 
very, you can see the texture of it. Now it's time to go work out, like 20 minutes later. Let's go. So I am done with working out and all that. Usually after this, I would have like a small breakfast or like a healthy breakfast, but it's already like one in the afternoon and I'm really running late on my schedule and I still have so much to do today. So I just need to jump in the shower and start my day. But, and I'm like a really big person on time. Like <laughs> if I am not, like I'm a big person on numbers. So like if I'm not, directly on my schedule i will skip steps <laughs> like i need to be doing this at a certain time this at a certain time this at a certain time type thing i'm like still so out of breath guys like i literally can't it's like my usual workout i really just like focus on cardio yeah so usually i just go on the treadmill then i do the stairmaster then i do pilates after then i'm done so yeah that's my usual workout Good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he did. I'm going to literally jump in the freaking shower. I'll see you guys when I'm done with my shower. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. Now it is time for skincare. My prom is this Saturday, so I really do need to be locking down on my skincare this whole entire week and my working out this whole entire week until Saturday. It's Monday right now. But I really need to be on it because right now I'm like breaking out like on my chest. First step is cleanser. I use the Rovectin Aqua Hydration Gentle Cleansing Gel. I love Rovectin as a brand, like I love their products. Not that much, that's the texture of it. And then I do it. Also, I have my hair in a microfiber towel. You guys need to be putting your hair in a microfiber towel. Microfiber, micro, microfiber, microfiber towel, yes. You guys need to be putting your hair up in a microfiber fiber towel because it's so much better for your hair than a towel. Like drying it just with a towel. It's so much more like gentle. So you guys make sure when you're drying your hair, you're doing it with a microfiber towel. I actually learned recently using normal like towels to dry your face is really bad because normal towels hold a lot of bacteria. It's better to collect or to like dry your face off with like one of these types of towels. It's a disposable face towel. Didoya actually sent me over these to try. And that's when I learned how bad normal face towels were. They sent me like so much. Like I definitely got some for a while. Thank you, Didoy. This isn't even like sponsored. I'm just like telling you guys like get a disposable, any sort of disposable face towel and start using it instead of the other face towels. So I'm gonna be using my MetaHeal tea tree pad. I literally use these in the morning at night. I use them all the time. I love them so much. MetaHeal, please sponsor me because I love you. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one on my face and then one for my chest because like I said, I need to get rid of this acne. To use like before makeup for skin prep, I highly recommend using this. The Mixum Bean Essence. I love using this before makeup. A lot of celebrity makeup artists actually use this before makeup to prep the person's like skin because it has like a little exfoliator thing in it. To get it to exfoliate, you rub it in and like it'll take off all the dead skin cells and stuff and prep your skin for makeup. But if you just want to use it like as just like a normal essence, you just tap it in and it won't exfoliate. That's what I like about it, the duality. the dead skin coming off already but i'm gonna do a prom vlog when prom happens and i'll tell you guys now i'm actually gonna be doing like a mermaid -y theme for prom like i'm going full mermaid princess core you guys might be wondering like um didn't you say you graduated yeah i did but i mean i'm still technically a senior like i i'm still able to go to prom and stuff not I haven't walked the stage yet, so I'm still able to go. But anyways, I'm using this one. I love this toner. It's so good. Really, 
really lather it on my face. I'm using my favorite, my favorite product in the entire world, the rice toner from I'm From. It's so good. Oh, my light just died. Next, love this product too. It's also one of my favorite products, the Rovectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. Looks like this. I've been using this and the rice toner like since I first started actually building my skincare routine, probably like around a year ago. I've been through so many bottles. Now oh, I'm gonna use my moisturizer, the, Physi the Physio Gel Hyperallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy Facial Cream. This, this is my morning skincare, guys. Look how like glowy this stuff makes my skin, guys. Sunscreen. This is the Skin 1004 sunscreen. It's so good. It never leaves a white cast. I love it. A generous amount of this too, because I don't want the sun aging my face. Thank you. I don't want to actually look like I'm 90 years old when I'm 90 years old. I just use the Laneige lip mask. Like, I use it every single day. Anytime I want something on my lips, this is what I use. I used to use Vaseline, but the issue with Vaseline is it, like, sucked into my lips too fast, if you know what I mean. Absorbed into my lips way too fast, so I kept having to reapply it like every 30 minutes, and it was really annoying. This stuff stays. I thought I'd show you guys my after shower hair routine. So my hair is pretty much already dry from the towel. That's also a benefit of using a microfiber towel like that. It dries your hair really fast. But first I go in with this serum, the Japanese one again. Probably about that much. I don't wanna get too much, cause one, my hair is really, really thin, so like, duh, a little definitely goes a long way and my hair can easily look greasy, so. Next, I use this Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argan Oil. Not even like, literally that. That's how much I use. I do not want my hair to look greasy, so. This Fable and Mane Hair Oil. Anyways, but today I'm gonna be doing like a reel and a TikTok for makeup. So, obviously I can't really film here for that. So, yeah, usually like, usually by the time I'm done showering and working out, it's around like 12. <laughs> right now it's like two. So that's how behind I am on my schedule right now. I'm gonna be doing sticker makeup today. I got these like little sticker things from Amazon. When I'm done doing like my makeup for the day and like content for the day, I usually like to journal and read. I will catch you guys after I'm done. Okay, now that I am done with reading and journaling, I'll tell you what I do. So, <laughs> I should probably actually explain what I just did. So, first off, I when I journal, I do two journaling prompts in the morning. So like I'll do two full pages of journaling and then I'll decorate it and like I make it look all cute. Like I'm pretty artsy when I journal, so like I like to like have like a lot of colors, a lot of shapes, like a lot of fun stuff like that. And I always look up the um I always look up journaling prompts on Pinterest to like get like ideas and then like I get creative then book wise i read one chapter to two chapters a day like to take notes at the end of each chapter so like i'll write down like my interpretation of what i just read and that's good for me to do because i have adhd so like if i want like a quick summary like the next day i can just read back on my own summary and like what i learned from what i read pretty much my routine then like i'm done like if i feel like reading more i'll read more that day like it just depends it's pretty much my morning routine after that, that's when I like kind of start my day more and like start doing stuff. Like if I want to go out somewhere, I'll go out somewhere. But it is like four o'clock right now and I still have not eaten anything today. Like I'm dying. I'm probably gonna go make myself a really big dinner real quick. That is the end of my morning routine. I know I do a lot, It is, but it is extremely productive and I just love this routine because it is so relaxing and just amazing to do. Hope you guys enjoyed my productive morning routine and you guys should try it because honestly like it's a lot but it's just amazing and you'll feel so good after so I definitely want you guys to try my morning routine and see if you like it. Yeah but 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe and comment any other video ideas that you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!